Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel is an honorary member of Mystery Incorporated. <laughs> I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day and if you guys aren't you know the drill Nickelodeon Halloween camera flip <laughs> It's about to get a whole lot spookier, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. <laughs> and today, we are going to be going on an awesome Halloween hunt. But not just that, we're going to be picking up something a little bit Scooby-Doo as well. For those of you guys who do not know, I also have a whole room dedicated to Cartoon Network and a variety of other cartoons. But same way SpongeBob kind of consumes this room, Scooby-Doo kind of consumes that room. I absolutely love watching Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo merchandise, pretty much any of to do with Scooby-Doo and today we're gonna be able to pick an absolute Scooby-Doo grail up. I found on Facebook Marketplace somebody who is selling one of the original Scooby-Doo Halloween candy bowl holders from like the mid 90s and it's still brand new sealed in the box and I'm really happy because I've been on Facebook now for like six months and I literally never see anything come up in my area but today is finally a day where something has come up and we're gonna be going to pick that up today and also we're on the lookout we are gonna be doing some Halloween decorating here in the cavern very soon. You guys know last year we did some decorating as well. This year is going to be a little different. I don't know how much we're going to be able to do because they are going to be doing some construction on the roof here in the cavern to make sure we can, you know, keep everything inside of here safe. But that could lead to some minor changes with our Halloween decorations, kind of keeping them a little bit more minimal just this year. Unfortunately, just because I don't want to do something too crazy that we have to end up moving or taking down. But we're still going to get some Halloween festive fun in there. We have a bunch of Halloween videos planned but we're also gonna be going to Spirit Halloween and I heard they have some brand new Spongebob stuff so hopefully we can find something cool there and if anything we're gonna be picking up that doodle bob that we left there last time that comes with the giant pencil but of course looking for other stuff along the way having fun seeing what other Halloween stuff they have in stock but without any further ado let's go ahead and hop into our Toyota mystery machine <laughs> okay so we are in the car right now it is gonna be about an hour drive so it's gonna take a little bit of time, but we got Karina with us now. We're gonna be going to Spirit Halloween, so she's excited about that. Yeah! <laughs> she's got her, her spooky shirt on. <laughs> you look like a floating head. Yeah, I know. I, like it. <laughs> I love it, it looks great, but it just blends in so well with my yeah. seats. But guys, we're gonna be driving over there. It's in Los Angeles. You know, I live a little bit outside of Los Angeles. We're gonna be heading over there right now. It may take a little bit of time, but I'm gonna focus on driving, and I'll update you guys when we get there so we can pick up Scooby, and hopefully we'll get to take a look at him. Well, I mean, he's going to be in the box, but I'm going to open him up because I just want to have it in the collection. I already have the 25 bucks ready. Can't believe the price. I hope it's not a bait and switch where when I get there, he's like, oh, it's actually a hundred. I just did that, you know, <laughs> or maybe I missed something in the description. So I'll update you guys when we get there and we're going to go to Spirit Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. So we're pulling up to it right now. We're gonna go pick up Scooby. I'm gonna be there in two minutes. I don't know if it's gonna be like a quick interaction where he's gonna be outside already or if we're gonna be sitting there for a little while waiting for him. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up. We'll be picking him up, giving him the cash, and then hopefully we'll have Scooby in the car and we can head on out. For good luck, ocean man, ocean man, take me by the hand for good luck. And let's hope we get Scooby for a good price. Okay, so he is on his way down here right now. He's in this office building here. Hopefully we'll see him in a second here and I can give him the cash. So I'm gonna just wait guys and I'll let you know uh, when we hopefully have Scoop. Okay, he's a little bit washed out the box here, but still awesome. We'll check him out a little bit closer when we get back home, but look at him. Yay, <laughs> he's so cute. He's adorable. Pumped and they also let me know if they have any other Scooby-Doo, they're going to let me know. It was kind of random, it's at this office building. I think they brought it to work, they said, so that way I can meet them here. But I don't know if he's sealed. He's still, he seems like he may have been opened at one point, but I did pop it open and take a look and it's still wrapped up and everything like that like if they used it maybe like one halloween you know like for a halloween party or something they put chips in it i don't know but for the price 25 dollars even if it's used and if it's in good shape they go for like a hundred so 
That was an amazing steal of a pickup and I'm so hyped on it. So I'll keep you guys posted. We're gonna head to Beer Halloween so we can take a look and see what they've got there. But I'm extremely pumped and of course we're gonna update, get shot, scan. Of course we're gonna be adding that Scooby to the collection and that's one of my dream items. It's just the price has always been too much, like $200 to $300 for it. And most of the time a used one is missing the bowl. That one has the bowl and everything. So it's seriously a Scooby-Doo grail for me and I can't wait to add it when we get back to the cavern. Pulling up on the side of the road here, we have an awesome Five Nights at Freddy's billboard for Halloween and on Peacock. I do have Peacock, but I would love to get to see it in the actual theater, so I can't wait to see it. You guys let me know if you guys are Five Nights at Freddy's fans or if you're excited for the movie. I also have to see The Nun too. I'm a huge Conjuring. Like some of the things I don't talk about, we course talk about cartoons here on this show, but I do love the Conjuring universe. I've seen every single one, and I can't wait to see The Nun too. That's already out. I haven't seen it yet though, but I would really am pumped for Five Nights at Freddy's. Last time we were with Karina, we asked her what was her favorite pizza place. This time, since we're talking about scary movies, we're picking up Scooby-Doo, something haunted. What's your favorite Halloween movie? It doesn't have to be scary, but your favorite Halloween movie. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below too. All right, so what is your favorite Halloween or horror movie? Conjuring 2. Conjuring 2. So I do love the Conjuring movies, but I don't know if that's my favorite. I, I love the series more than anything, but if I were to pick like one spooky movie to watch, it's not like super scary, but I would go with Us by uh, Jordan Peele. And the whole concept of the movie is just really cool. I don't want to spoil it if anybody hasn't seen it. But in the comments down below, what is your favorite Halloween movie or scary movie? Any horror movie, whatever it is, something spooky in the comments down below. Okay, so we made it to Spirit Halloween and I am excited, but I cannot wait to get home to see Scooby. I think we should pop it open right now. So here's the original bowl. Ooh, it is like oxidized. You can even see there's a little bit of like chocolate or something on there right there. I mean, it doesn't look that yellow in the picture, so <laughs> that's just from age. But let's take Scooby out here, and from the back, not much going on, but let's turn him around here, and Ooh. boom, that is so freaking cute. I love him so much. He reminds me of like the baby Scooby from the Scoob movie. So he sits just like this. You can sit him anywhere, and like, look how big he is for size comparison. Like, that's yeah. like a pretty big shelf status. Like, that's like a super grail. And then you put the bowl in there just like this, so the bowl should sit in kind of like that so it kind of looks like Aww. a picture there we go so we can hold candy you can put the candy in there you can hold your cell phone your keys your wallet whatever you want <laughs> but he is just a lot of fun and super cute and there's only like one other scooby-doo candy bowl holder it's like this one right here on screen where he's like a witch with like a cauldron and that's the candy bowl i think this is like the definitely supreme one all right bye for now scooby bye bye <laughs> let's put the bowl down and let's head on into spirit halloween i already saw something you're not gonna believe but we didn't see this one at the one we went to right Ooh, that is awesome i don't remember seeing this guy he's got an awesome little rig and watch out you're standing right in the line of fire <laughs> you're gonna get blasted so we have the awesome i guess i would call him a martian maybe he is a martian why did i know he was a martian already for some reason in like culture we just make martians have like their brain outside yeah. of their head <laughs> some new stuff for sure. I didn't even realize this. They have this guy right here. They have Jumbo, which is a Killer Clowns from Outer Space exclusive. We have this one, Victor and Emily. They have a bunch of Killer Clowns from Outer Space Funko Pops. This one I've never, I've never seen. This is a movie. I'm not even sure what it's from, but I guess this is a scene from the movie. They have Crouchy here, which is a Spirit Halloween exclusive or like made character in his own final figure, which is really cool. They put Spirit Halloween exclusive, even though he's a Spirit Halloween figure. I guess that kind of was like yeah. something I would have assumed, but... <laughs> <laughs> but still cool. But that's not what I was saying you're gonna lose your mind about. What is it? What is it? Look at this. They have a Scooby-Doo backpack oh. with fur. Oh, and it's $50 though, man. And they have a SpongeBob one too. Oh my goodness. Now I don't know whether I want to get the costume or I want to get this. These are so cute, but they're $60. They are not cheap at all. Damn, that is amazing. I kind of want this one. Yeah, you should. I you don't should. know. Because like we have a lot of SpongeBob backpacks and we're hunting to get the lounge fly one soon here. But this one is just so adorable and he's so soft. I might have to think about it for a second. This, it looks like there's one Scooby left, so we're gonna take him. <laughs> and then we're gonna leave just the for now. there just for right now so we can think about this. <laughs> Man, 
man, you guys have been commenting, letting me know that you guys would like to see us do like a pumpkin carving, uh, you know, video. So I think it'd be kind of cool maybe to do a competition, me, Michelle, and Karina, see who can create the best jack-o'-lantern, but you have to keep it Nickelodeon themed. And everybody can pick their favorite Nickelodeon character to use for whatever one they want to build. Obviously, you know, I'm going to do something like Sponge, but Mitchell and Karina can pick whatever they want and see who makes the best one and you guys decide. Okay, so we have some more of the costume stuff over here. They have a lot of new stuff. They, oh, look at this awesome Jack Skellington staff. Like, see, that's like not even Halloween theme. Like, that's just cool all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you have the lollipop down there. We have a Jack Skellington mask, the Jack Skellington fingers. There's just so many cool things that work way past Halloween time. But look at that beautiful display. Oh my goodness, I am hoping so bad. Maybe I'll talk to them before we leave. I'm hoping so bad that we can somehow end up with this Scooby-Doo just this play after everything starts coming down. That would be so cool to have. I just, please, please, Scooby-Doo, God. Come on. What? This is too cool. That's amazing. I, it's so cute, too. I think, like, oh, did it have a large, a large, extra large? Oh, that would look so good, right? That would be really cute. Let's see. It's glow in the dark, too. Let's see how much this one Glow in the dark. $50 for this one, too. So get two of these two together would be a $100 combo right there. I feel like I, I don't want to leave Sponge behind, but this is so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the thing is that with the Scooby-Doo, like, I don't know, maybe I'll have to drop the backpack. I'll grab this and maybe one SpongeBob item. I think I want this more than I do the backpack. Really? What do you think? I don't know. Because with Loungefly around, I'm like, we can get a Scooby-Doo Loungefly backpack with only like $20, $30 more. That's true. Whereas with this, this is like really, really cool. And it's a glow in the dark. And you can wear it like all the time. Exactly. Trust me, I wish I had a freaking Scooby-Doo villain bank vault of money somewhere to just buy everything. I would. But <laughs> I want, if I have to pick something, I'm going to go ahead and pick a sweater. What do you think? I think that would be yeah, better Yeah, it's purple. It's my favorite color. Oh, so, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's your favorite color, I'll get it. <laughs> it scares me how realistic this one is. He's so real, <laughs> like it's inflatable, so this whole piece will be inflatable. I will say, somebody who's been in these, two of these inflatables at this point, those are freaking hot. You get so damn hot inside of there. Maybe it's just me because I'm hot just standing here right now, but it is hot in general inside of those. And it recycles, it feels like the same air. So, but this one looks like it's pretty spacious. You know, you could have a little AC in there, you know, a little, <laughs> little coffee maker, a little desk. You could put a lot in that thing. <laughs> And Karina's also a huge Naruto fan too, so let's just go ahead and test your Naruto knowledge. What do we got right here? Curse Mark? Yes, yes, this is Sasuke's Curse Mark tattoo. These are some like, I don't know, Curse Mark energy slashes. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have all the different weapons here, but you've seen we already have those in the anime room. Ooh, we got some Naruto hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Bart Simpson here more. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. He's, he's working it, but the hair they gave him is rough. This is new, too. The toy laser gun from Rick and Morty. Last time we saw, they just had this, the portal gun. But now we actually have this little laser, which is pretty dope. They have this one right here, which is Camp Crystal Lake, which is from the Halloween series. They have so many cool ones too. Oh, this like 3D sign, does the camera pick that up? Yeah. That is awesome. The Mars attack, you get to see the blueprint and then it turns into the actual gun itself. I would love for that for SpongeBob, like a blueprint of his house and then change into his house. I mean, I'm just always thinking about SpongeBob, <laughs> but, but that would be cool. The mystery machine, you know? Mm -hmm. It starts off as like the blueprint, the skeleton of the mystery machine that turns into the full blown car. That would be cool. Oh, the trick or treat one right here. I love this style, these lenticular, because we've seen these with anime so much. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's cool for it to finally got chicken back there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool for them to actually finally have it kind of, you know, being used in like Western stuff here too. And then we have the Halloween canvas here as well too. Oh, look, there's Annabelle down here. <laughs> Warning, positively do not open. Where's the opening? Where's the latch? No, 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 no. <laughs> And I love how, of course, you put the devil card to protect you from Annabelle. Like that makes the most sense. You put the devil himself as a card. <laughs> yeah. Those are really cool. You're scared. Are you scared in a retail what used to probably be a CVS store? <laughs> My bed is there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Chucky. A Chucky greeter what? and also candy bowl. It's like the same thing as Scooby Doo. That's what Chucky. I'm saying. We, literally, that is like pretty much what we just got was a Scooby one. But this is the Chucky one. That is so awesome. Oh no! <laughs> you were afraid of it before. No, no, no. <laughs> you have a full-size Annabelle here now. 
I think I should get that and we'll just hide it places in, in the cavern. No, we'll just no, put no. it in there whenever I send you in the cavern. I'll just hide it somewhere in the no. room. <laughs> I have to look out for it. Oh, and like, look at this giant statue here, too, for the Chainsaw Massacre. They really did put a lot of new stuff in. Look at this. It's a bobblehead, a, a Jack in the Box from Chucky from Child's Play 2. You got Pennywise, too, a Pennywise statue. I'm trying, he says, try me, I'm trying you, and he just isn't working. Oh, and the scariest thing of all, wrappers of ginger chews. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I am gonna go look back and we may end up getting the doodle bob and just that for today. But I did wanna put this back and we can still feature it even though it's not here. We're not gonna add to the collection. It's still really cool. We have the Scooby-Doo tag there, the Scooby snack pouch here. Oh, there's no Scooby snacks. That would've been nice. <laughs> <laughs> but Shaggy and Scooby would've beat us to it for sure. But we also have the SpongeBob one here, which is interesting. This one is $60. Like I said, the reason I'm not picking up guys is we are gonna be picking up some of the lounge fly bags very soon here. So it's only like $20 off from that. So I probably would just save it up to do that instead but we do have squidward doing the thing in spirit halloween because why wouldn't he be the little jellyfish tag not a bad bag at all very cute and who knows maybe the, you know i don't know I, I personally i believe he's gonna sell out but if somehow when they start doing clearances we'll come back here and maybe we'll pick him up you never know <laughs> i know what we won't be picking up <laughs> that paw patrol section <laughs> shout out to paw patrol we love you is melted into the floor. That is so cute. We have my future son right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my future kid right there. <laughs> Look at how sweet he looks. He's adorable. With the little red and white and blue socks too. Oh my God, I want to give him a high five. I would give him, every, like there was like, he trick or treat at my house. I would just take him, take the whole bag. Do you want something out of the house? Like you want the couch, the chairs, you know? <laughs> just take it all, you're too cute. Yeah. Oh, and they actually brought the uh, items back. I thought he had like, I was like, I thought he was a Power Ranger like at first, but I, just, I realized Raphael just has that bandana. And for some reason, just never even noticed that. But look, we have Leonardo's katana. They have actually brought the weapons out. We have Raphael's size. I don't see Donnie's nunchucks. Otherwise, we would be picking those up too today, but it's still really cool. And we're looking for those. We're on the hunt for these ones. Oh, we have the really spooky stuff over here, like a flight. Oh. oh. <laughs> I love this is just like, oh, you can just go to like any deli and see this. <laughs> like, it's, now it's horror. <laughs> but otherwise, it's food. <laughs> You're my best friend for life. Isn't that? Yes. Got some weapons over here, too. Like, freaking, that is huge. This one's like an extra dagger. It's like a regular knife's not enough. It's gotta be bones. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of my favorites as a kid though, where you could actually like fill them up with the blood. I remember that. Yeah, it's so satisfying too in its own way. But then eventually like two years in a line, just like dried in there. Yeah. <laughs> it only works for about one year, but it's still <laughs> sick. Okay, so Karina wanted to know from you guys, what is your hair? She's a huge Harry Potter fan. So what is your guys' house? For me personally, I am a Gryffindor. <laughs> Mitchell is also a Gryffindor and Parker is our a Slytherin. And I'm a Hufflepuff. And she's Hufflepuff, yeah. It, Parker's an amazing dude. I don't know how he got into Slytherin, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's Slytherin. But you guys let us know down below. We don't, the only person we're missing is a Ravenclaw. Yep. So let me know down below. What is your house? in the comments for Karina. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, look. They have dog oh, ones too. Yeah, we they... have to get one for him. <laughs> yeah, that's super cute. <laughs> then we also have the SpongeBob <laughs> one too. They have a bunch of dog ones. Even a freaking Ninja Turtles one. All right, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So it is decided though, I am gonna be picking up the Doodle Bob. I'm mostly just doing this so we could have this giant inflatable Doodle Bob pencil inside of the cavern, but also the costume is awesome too. So I mean, I didn't know if I was gonna get it till next year, but we are getting it this year and we're also gonna be picking up this Scooby-Doo sweatshirt. And we also have Scooby outside, so awesome Halloween haul. Okay, so we just left. The associates there were super kind. We actually got 20% off on each item. All they do is sign up for their email list, so it ended up being way cheaper than I expected to. So I was super extremely excited to go home and check out. First off, you're gonna see me wearing this Scooby-Doo sweatshirt a lot probably as we get into October. It starts cooling up a little bit here. And I can't wait to go home and try out my Doodle Bob costume and the pencil. This whole thing is so awesome. I was more excited about the pencil, but now that I have it, I can't wait to wear the Doodle Bob. 
I'm costume. <laughs> So we are back from Spirit Halloween and we have everything here including my costume and I brought the air gun. <laughs> you liking that cool breeze? Oh yeah. <laughs> I brought the inflatable gun because at first I thought I brought it for no reason because this suit doesn't need to be inflated but we do need it for that pencil. But before we get into the awesome costume we got, we gotta check out the Scooby stuff. So first off, the packaging itself is really cool. I wish it was in better shape, the box itself, but man do those M&Ms look good. You can put some ice in there. He's pretty sturdy it looks like to be able to hold a lot of stuff. It's got the dimensions here. He's 10 inches long, 11 inches wide, and his height is 20 inches. So just to give you some perspective, I mean, he's about almost two feet. He's a pretty solid size Scooby, but he's not so big that, you know, he's not Great Dane size. So it's kind of like a little puppy version of Scooby. A pup named Scooby-Doo, if you will. So here's the bowl right here. Like I said, it's kind of oxidized from just being old. And the Scooby himself, let's take a look at him. Man, it looks so much bigger out of the car, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so having it here in person in the cavern looks amazing. I am going to be putting him in my kitchen for Halloween and for the remainder of my life. He will always be in the kitchen. I am going to probably get a different bowl though. Maybe something a little bit newer, a little bit more sturdy, but it's also going to be kind of hard to find one that fits exactly. But you can see the bowl fits in just like that. And you can put whatever you want in there and the way that the weight is actually centered, it doesn't exactly really matter how heavy it is as long as it gets inside the bowl. It's kind of leaned slightly backwards so the weight is kind of resting on the base of it. He's made out of kind of like a hard like foam. a you know, hard plastic foam, but he's not malleable he's not squishable at all but he obviously does need to be resting against the wall yeah <laughs> <laughs> just a really adorable figure and like I said I'll be showing you guys where we put him in the kitchen he goes retail for like I said in the box sealed like 300 400 dollars and out of the box over a hundred so for the price that I got him I'm so glad I probably would have been able to get him otherwise so I'm so happy that we found him he is a true grail to me and probably the biggest scooby-doo piece I have besides this rainbow scooby-doo but that's kind of a plushie from my like a you know fair those are designed to be big you don't typically see scooby-doo ornaments but i would love to see them do some more stuff like this in the future we have all these insane animatronics coming out from spirit halloween but a lot of times they're not really licensed besides maybe freddy krueger maybe the halloween michael myers but i would love to see them do some animatronics for like scooby-doo maybe some of the villains from scooby-doo oh maybe. yeah right that, that would be, be amazing it would be incredible to have like an actual creeper whose arms kind of like move you know <laughs> if they did scooby-doo animatronics i wouldn't have a place to sleep they would be everywhere <laughs> <laughs> so many amazing ones they could do five nights of freddy's can get some and hey while we're at it why not some spongebob ones maybe a smitty man yeagerhand jensen where his head actually twists around I guess I'm gonna have to take it from you. <laughs> anyway though, Scooby looks terrific. Let's go ahead and get to the stuff we got at Spirit Halloween. You'll be getting some detailed shots of Scooby and also see where I put him inside the kitchen. And like I said, we got these 20% off coupons that hopefully we'll be using soon. And we got the Scooby-Doo yeah. hoodie. Or not hoodie, it's everything sweater? besides the hood of a hoodie. A sweater, that's what you call it, a sweater, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try the sweater on real quick. And it fits perfectly with the item we got today. And it glows in the dark too, so we need to turn the lights oh. off. We'll turn the lights off after I get it on. Okay, so I have it on. How does it look? It looks perfect. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, where are you? I'm about to find you. You're on my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hoodie. It's a sweater, Marcus. But this thing looks terrific. I like the purple. It's almost like a navy blue with a hint of purple. And the spooky black tie-dye yeah. into it gives it like kind of that creepy factor. That Halloween factor. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go ahead and check out the design and see how it actually glows in the dark. All right, so she has a black light on it right now go ahead and pull it away Ooh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. so scooby-doo where are you is where it actually glows that just looks terrific and it's just a small little detail can you see me it's just a small little detail <laughs> A small smidgen of a detail. <laughs> when everybody's relaxed in the dark, boom, your shirt will glow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we tried on the hoodie. Now, for the main event. This guy. We have the Doodle Bob costume. So, I want to see what this pencil looks like, but I also want to check out the costume, of course. So, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Popping open the Doodle Bob, Kini Bottomites. Beware, because he is here and he is a rough square. Whoa. <laughs> That's a pretty big costume, yeah. too. And this is like that classic, you know, like I dressed up as an M&M, I dressed up as a football player when I was a kid. The 
<laughs> Flash. I was a football player just to please my dad, you know? He liked football. He said he would be cool if I did that. It wasn't cool. It wasn't cool for me, but I did like the helmet. The helmet was fun. <laughs> this right here, though, is what all those costumes were made out of, like this spongy kind of mesh material. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I think like everybody that had one of those like character costumes back in the day will remember the material I'm talking about. So it's kind of just interesting to see it here. But let's go ahead and get the pencil out because let's be real, I am excited to try on this costume, but I really wanted this for this pencil. This is the, our first ever, well, it's not true. We've had a licensed official Doodle Bob pencil that came in a Nick box, but that's the only official Doodle Bob pencil we've ever had until this one. And this is the first ever like full size one. Is that it? Okay, never mind, pulls again. I was like, wow, that's a short <laughs> pencil. That's like one of those pencils where like you, you can't afford to get another pencil yet, so you're using that little nub. Yeah, I used to do that. <laughs> I used to do that, and sometimes I would sharpen the other side to like, yeah, get the eraser too. off. Then you have this double-ended pencil, and you're yeah. like, oh, I can't erase a damn thing. <laughs> but look at the pencil! Oh, that is classic. I love the little anchor right there, too. And this one is not going to be a number two. It's going to be a number O2, because we got to fill it with air. <laughs> Ah, magic pencil, what are you doing up? Drawing yourself a glass of water? Yeah! This is amazing, we can put this so many places. Does it work like the real where you just delete things from life? Let's try it. Ah! Let's go ahead and draw that back to life. Wait. <laughs> there we go. But this thing could be sitting anywhere. Like we could just have it sitting right over here. We could have it just sitting over here. I mean, we could have it sitting anywhere. Or we could just have it hanging up on the wall. But this is an officially licensed Doodle Bob pencil. It's beautiful. And we will be finding a place for this guy today here in the cavern. Just so when you see it in the background, you'll know where it came from. And also, if I need to do any kind of big paperwork. But now for the costume. Three, two, one. Me hi, me noi. All right, so we got the Doodle Bob costume on, and here we are. We have the pencil. I've always wanted to do this. This isn't Doodle Bob's line, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I am Marcus, destroyer of evil. He's got the pencil. All right, let's try this thing out. Oh, where did he go? Maybe in that poorly drawn pineapple. That is a really poorly drawn pineapple. <laughs> is it your birthday? He's in prison. Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm glad that's over now. Okay, so <laughs> we are done. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Us just messing around with the costume. We always do this on the costume video. So far we picked up Squidward's, Spongebob's, and uh, maybe with that 20% off, like I said, we could end up getting Patrick's too. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But we got to put Scooby away. I may have already put the pencil away. And I'm going to be, of course, putting this guy into the closet. But before that, you guys know the drill. Not much to scan here. Just an awesome day. But it is the drill, so scan it. And for the pencil, I went ahead and tucked it right back here. So that way you guys can kind of see it, but if I ever need it for any uh, Doodle Bob antics, I can just grab it. And although Scooby would look amazing in the cartoon room, I think the fact that he's holding the bowl just makes him perfect to kind of put little snacks in there, mints, whatever I want to go ahead and throw in there, even fruit at times. So I put him inside of the kitchen. And like I said, maybe I'll get a different bowl, but it kind of fits in like the oxidization it doesn't really look as bad once he's holding it. So I'm just a huge fan of this thing one of my favorite new items so that is it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe if you're new here and if you guys want to support the show even further it helps us keep the uploads coming to you guys go check us out on patreon for as little as five dollars you can join and you get extended versions of every video that we upload as well as behind the scenes and early releases of the videos it's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons and it goes a long way and we appreciate it so much and if you guys haven't already go sign up for whatnot where you get 15 bucks off of any of the collectibles that we collect on this show. It's a buying and selling platform where you can buy all types of awesome stuff and you get 15 bucks for free towards your first order. And I also stream there every single Friday. So if you want to check that out, that link will be down below as well. And I'll see you guys in this video. But as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios and bloop.